Hi, I'm KJ Bradford and welcome to this week's edition of Vicarious Eats. Today will be Salads 101. I'm going to give you three simple salad recipes that will be sure to make your dinner a star from start to finish. First, we're going to start off with something easy but with a twist, the caprese salad. So, traditionally a caprese salad is tomatoes, mozzarella, and basil, strips of basil. Well, we're going to do a tomato napoli which is going to be a thick st strip of tomato, a piece of mozzarella with a basil vinaigrette. So first we're going to start off with your tomatoes. Vine ripened tomatoes, you can use heirloom tomatoes if you have them, but a standard XL vine ripened tomato from your store will do it. Mozzarella, just the ball. You don't want to shred it, you don't want grate it, you want the fresh mozzarella that's still whole, not the medallions because then you won't have a thick enough slice. And of course the basil. So we have basil that you can buy at the store or if you grow it in your garden that's great but we bought it at the store just to show you the easy, easy and convenient. So let's get started. First of all you need a knife for your tomato. You always need a serrated knife for your tomatoes. So cut the top off. And then you're going to cut about an inch thick slice. You want a nice good slice of tomato. And we're going to get three slices out of this one tomato. Then we're going to cut our mozzarella. If this is the packed in water, you want to drain off the liquid if you have it that way. Um, this one isn't packed in liquid, so you just open a package and go on and start to slice it. And you want to cut circles as well. You want everything to be circular, that way when you stack it, it'll be even. So about another inch. For the mozzarella medallions as well. And for your pesto or your basil oil, we're going to use three whole sprigs of basil. So you don't want the stem in basil, you just want the leaves. So make sure the leaves are good and fresh. You want them to be whole. You don't want any blemishes on your leaves, so these are good. This is good. So we're going to use three sprigs. And if you want to make a bunch of it, you can make a whole batch and then pour it into an ice cube tray and throw it in the freezer. That way, whenever you need basil oil, just defrost it and you'll have it. So we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I'm going to finish the basil oil and show you how to assemble the tomato napoleon. This is Vicarious Eats. Stay tuned. three bunches of basil in our food processor or your blender and we're going to add a quarter cup of olive oil to the mix. So now we're just going to blitz this up in our food processor like so.
So our basil oil is done. Now we want to season our tomatoes. You have to season your tomatoes. Since this is not a cooked salad, you want everything to be flavored. So we're going to season it with a little pepper, a little salt on both sides. Kosher salt or sea salt. If you have fine sea salt, that will work as well. So now we're going to plate our tomato before. So to plate, you want to take a little bit of your basil oil. On the bottom. Then take a tomato. You want the first slice of tomato you cut to be your base because it's going to have a more even tone to it and it's going to sit well. So, tomato. And you don't have to season your mozzarella so you have enough seasoning on tomatoes. You don't want everything to be that full of salt and pepperness to it. So we'll just season our tomato. We're going to leave our mozzarella plain. Then our next slice like so. And then mozzarella. Now another way you can do this to give it a little more sheen if you wanted to grill your mozzarella a little bit. In that case you would have to freeze it, then slice it, and then grill it a little bit. That will give it another depth of flavor as well. So the last tomato. And then one more piece of mozzarella. And then a little bit on top. There you have it, your classic crazy with a twist. We have our tomato napoleon with a basil oil instead of using the basil leaves. This is Vicarious Eats and stay tuned because next we tackle another salad that will give your dinner party an elegant twist. Walnut crusted goat cheese medallions with a masculine salad. Stay tuned.